Hey folks, Aaron here. Um, I just got a mystery box in the mail uh, from a customer of ours. By the way, these priority mail boxes are perfect for sending tools because they don't care how heavy it gets. So you just load them up. Um, anyway, this is from a customer who um, I built an ukulele for and they had a family member who was a machinist and they're ready to pass on some of that equipment. And they knew that I've been working slowly um, in the metal working room of my shop to learn how to use my metal lathe and get a handle on that end of the business. So um, yeah, we've got this pile of stuff that they sent. Um, you know, I often have this attitude of like, oh, I'm pretty good at making stuff. I can do this and I can do that. I should, I should learn how to do that. And yeah, that's cool and it's fun to dip your toe in, but honestly, um, you know, these are trades that other people spend their entire lifetimes on. So I can't tackle it all, you know? Um, so, so far with the, my metal lathe, mainly I've just been like reading books and watching videos and I've tinkered a little bit and get it set up pretty accurately, but I haven't really done any projects yet. So anyway, maybe this box of uh, goodies will, will push me. Plus I just love old measuring equipment. <laughs> so this box is fun for me. So I think I'll tip you down here and we'll just check out what's going on. Pardon the creaks. Okay. So to begin with, um, there's these cool old shop bags which I don't know what we'll use those for, but you know, you know, I like stuff like that. There's a little handful of knurled knobs, which is cool. These are, uh, I think these are some tool holders and um, it looks like they would attach into my, uh, into my cross slide. And these little, this little set of tools look really interesting, very small and beautiful. I don't know what these are, but I will figure out. There's a pile of shim stock, which is always helpful in the metal working room. Um, and then this beautiful pile of tool steel. Uh, lots of different sizes and shapes to fit all the different um, jobs. And all, um, you know, a lot of it's already ground for certain jobs. Always helpful. Um, and then a beautiful uh, Morse tapered uh, Jacob's chuck. Looks like it's never been used. And uh, the appropriate center as well. That's a beautiful piece. Um, now onto the marking and measuring stuff. This is stuff I love. Sterrett Decimal Equivalent Guide, Practical Machinist Guide. I think this is from the Morse Company. Yeah. So this is the kind of thing I've been reading a lot about because I want to figure it out. A couple of these little calipers. We use these a lot in the Luther end of the business anyway, so those are always handy. Um, three different dial indicators here, and one of them is marked DuPont, which is pretty cool. And uh, you never have too many of these. These are also helpful for setting up my machines. Um, and then this little stare indicator, I've never seen one like this before. It says last word universal test indicator. Oops, still in the box. I'll have to figure out that one. That's new to me. Um, got a little level. Um, oh, this wrench went in the back. This is a thread pitch guide, which I would use in the banjo end of the shop all the time because you find some old piece of um, hardware and you got to figure out what the threads are. And uh, these are really cool. That's a uh, Starrett. And then this little tiny Starrett. Um, I think this is not totally sure what you would use this for, but I'm gonna learn. It says double depth of shared thread. So maybe it's measuring how deep threads are in something. I don't know. I'm, I'll admit my ignorance. And then um, Cleveland uh, Dw Twist Drill Company. It looks like this is for grinding, a guide for grinding the angle on drill bits which of course is pretty cool. And then uh, my favorite thing, this is a beautiful little six inch square with the center indicator um, and the scribe still in it. It's a really beautiful tool. I think this one will get used every day. And this is a Union Tool Company. Um, did I forget anything? I think that's it. Um, oh, this, some little bench dogs for my woodworking bench. Those are certainly gonna get used every day. So yeah, I mean, I'm just feeling extra grateful today uh, for this mystery box to come in the mail um, because, you know, I don't have the necessarily have the cash to buy all this stuff off the top of my head. I mean, I, I, our business can buy what I, usually what we need, but I don't know what I don't need sometimes, <laughs> right? Especially in this end of the, of uh, making stuff. So anyway, I'm excited about it. I'm feeling extra thankful to Dave and we'll put it to work. Cheers. Thank you.